the eye that sees beginnings, the witness to the dawn of everything. This is the James Webb Space Telescope. Not merely a machine. Not simply an instrument. But humanity's most sensitive gaze into the cosmos. An eye daring to pierce the deepest darkness. Coaxing the faintest light into understanding. Its golden mirrors do more than reflect photons. They gather whispers of creation itself. The ancient heartbeat of stars long dead. The ghostly remnants of galaxies vanished eons ago. Every photon that touches Webb's sensors has journeyed across black seas of time for billions of years. Each carries stories older than civilizations, continents, and life itself. Every glimmer is more than the glow of a distant sun. It is a memory, a message, a tale from the dawn of existence. Webb listens, translating these fragile rays into songs of galaxies faded into silence. Stars that lived and died quietly, and worlds still guarding their mysteries. With every star studied, every shadow chased, Webb becomes more than an instrument. It becomes a storyteller of the universe, a poet writing in the silent language of light. Its mission, described in technical reports, is poetry in motion. To unveil hidden truths of distant worlds, trace the long-forgotten history of galaxies, and help humanity comprehend its place in the vast cosmic design. Recently, this extraordinary eye turned toward a quiet star, glowing softly 120 light years from Earth. A gentle lantern suspended in darkness. No one anticipated the revelation that would follow. For the first time, humanity captured unmistakable signs of carbon-based molecules, the sacred ingredients of life on Earth, floating in the skies of a distant world. That world has a name, K218b. A planet unlike any in our solar system, yet hauntingly familiar in its mystery. K218b is a giant, 8.5 times the mass of Earth, orbiting within its star's golden habitable zone where oceans of liquid water might exist. Webb revealed an atmosphere rich in hydrogen, interwoven with carbon compounds, methane, carbon dioxide. Could this be a world wrapped in alien oceans? Could life hide beneath those clouds, waiting for discovery? Long before Webb, Hubble had whispered hints, traces of water vapor, a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. But Webb went deeper, decoding ancient light filtering through clouds, revealing patterns hinting at something extraordinary. Among those spectral fingerprints, signs of complex carbon chemistry emerged. Even more astonishingly, no ammonia was detected, suggesting a chemically balanced atmosphere. Then came a revelation that sent ripples through the scientific world. The possible detection of dimethyl sulfide, DMS a molecule on Earth produced only by living organisms. Could that same fragile signature drift across the skies of a world 120 light-years away? If confirmed, this would mark one of humanity's most profound milestones. For now, scientists remain cautious. The signal is faint, fragile, a whisper in the cosmic symphony. Yet even the possibility opens a door humanity has dreamed of for millennia. A door suggesting we may not be alone. Astronomers from Cambridge noted that while K218b rests in its star's habitable zone, it may not resemble Earth at all. Perhaps it is something stranger. A rare fusion of a mini Neptune and an ocean world. Imagine such a realm. Horizons bathed in soft starlight. Endless oceans stretching beneath clouds tinted violet and blue, hydrogen mist swirling through an atmosphere heavy with warmth and mystery. No continents. No mountains. Only dark depths that might cradle alien life beneath eternal twilight. The cosmic origins of life and the universe's first whispers the universe speaks not just through photographs, but through the faintest traces of starlight. Tiny signatures carved by distant chemistry. Each time K218b drifts across its star, 
a sliver of that starlight filters through its atmosphere, leaving behind a spectral fingerprint, a silent, shimmering autograph of its hidden world. Webb captures these glimmers, decoding them molecule by molecule, transforming scattered photons into knowledge. Knowledge into a vivid portrait of a living world waiting to be understood. From that fragile glow, a planet is reborn in our imagination. A world revealed through patience, science, and starlight. Researchers now plan to use Webb's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, to confirm these discoveries. They will search for clouds, storms, perhaps even signs of a carbon cycle, a rhythm of chemistry mirroring the life cycles of Earth itself. The question remains as ancient as humanity. Are we alone? While Webb peers into the future, seeking life around distant suns, it also turns its gaze back to the dawn of everything. To the first sparks that lit the universe. And what it sees there is no less miraculous. In a distant galaxy known as SPO 41847, billions of light years away, Webb detected complex organic molecules. The same carbon-rich compounds found in smoke, oil, and living tissues on Earth. These aromatic hydrocarbons were already forming when the universe was only 10% of its current age. The light web captured began its journey nearly 13 billion years ago, less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. It revealed something astonishing. The chemistry of life may have begun far earlier than anyone dared to imagine. Until now, scientists believed such molecules formed slowly. Only after generations of dying stars scattered heavy elements across the cosmos. Webb tells a different story. A universe impatient to create. Rushing to write the first verses of life's chemistry almost immediately after its birth. Mapping these carbon signatures, astronomers found them clustered in stellar nurseries. Regions where new suns were forming. As if the creation of stars and the ingredients of life were threads woven from the same cosmic loom. Though that galaxy was young, it rivaled the Milky Way in richness. Filled with carbon, oxygen, and the glittering seeds of creation itself. The universe could not wait. Rushing to inscribe the language of life into its earliest chapters. Could life have begun far earlier than we imagined? Could the universe itself be wired, compelled, programmed to generate living chemistry wherever conditions allow? These are not just questions of science. They are questions of existence itself. Every image Webb sends home, every spectral line it deciphers, reminds us, we are not strangers in the cosmos. We are its expression. Its consciousness made visible. Each atom in our bodies. Every trace of carbon, oxygen, hydrogen. Born in the hearts of long dead stars. We are, quite literally, the universe awakening to know itself. When we study the cosmos, we are not looking outward into something foreign. We are looking inward. Tracing the story of our own origins written across billions of light years. So, what do you think? Could K218b truly harbor life beneath its shimmering clouds? Could those distant carbon molecules be the first whispers of creation itself? Or is the universe still keeping its greatest secret, waiting for us to listen just a little more closely? Lift your eyes to the stars. They may yet be looking back. Inviting us to understand. To imagine.